God is the light of the heavens and the earth. The example of his light is like a niche within which is a lamp. The lamp is within glass, the glass as if it were a pearly white star, lit from the oil of a blessed olive tree, neither of the east nor of the west, whose oil would almost glow even if untouched by fire. Light upon light, God guides to his light whom he wills, and God presents examples for the people, and God is knowing of all things. Quran 24, 35. Welcome back, dear viewers, to the second part of our enthralling journey into the secret of secrets by Abdul Qadir al-Jalani. In this video, we unveil his next chapter, The Descent of Man to the Lowest of the Low. From the earth we created you, and into it we will return you, and from it we will extract you another time. Quran 2055. The Secret of Secrets acts as a vital link between two of the author's renowned works, Wealth for the Seekers, Gunyat al-Talibin, and Openings of the Unseen, Futu al-Ghayb. It is said that without unlocking the secret, one may not be able to fully embrace the profound impact of the openings. Allah, Most High created the Holy Spirit as the most perfect creation in the first created realm of the absolute being of His essence then he willed to send it to lower realms. His reason in that was to teach the Holy Spirit to seek the way back to the truth on the level of the all-powerful, to seek its previous closeness and intimacy with Allah. He sent the Holy Spirit to the station of his messengers and saints and lovers and friends. On its way, Allah sent it first to the realm of the causal mind, of unity, of the total soul, the realm of his divine names and attributes the realm of the truth of Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Holy Spirit had with it the seed of unity. As it passed through this realm, it was given the clothing of divine light and was named the Sultan Soul. As it passed through the realm of angels, which is the medium of dreams, it received the name Moving Soul. When it finally descended to this world of matter, it was dressed in the clothing of flesh that Allah created to fit its being. It was clothed with coarse matter in order to save this world. Because the material world, if it had direct contact with the Holy Spirit, would burn to ashes. In relation to this world, it came to be known as life, the human soul. The purpose of the Spirit's coming to this lowest of created realms is that it should seek to return to its previous closeness, while in its actual form of flesh and bone, that it should come to this realm of coarse matter and by means of the heart which is inside this corpse, plant the seed of unity and grow the tree of unity therein. The roots of that tree are where they have always been, its branches fill the void of bliss, and there, for the pleasure of Allah, bear the fruits of unity. Then in the earth of the heart, the spirit planted the seed of religion and wished to grow the tree of religion in order to obtain fruits, each of which would raise it to levels closer to Allah. Allah made bodies for the souls to enter, and for these souls, each of which has a different name, he built fitting spaces within the bodies. He placed the human soul, the soul of life, between the flesh and the blood. He placed the Holy Spirit within the center of the heart, where he built a space of fine matter to keep that secret between Allah and his servant. These souls are in different parts of the body, with different duties, with different businesses. Each, as if by buying and selling different goods, obtains different benefits. Their business always brings them plenty in the form of Allah's bounty and blessings. Out of what we have provided for them, secretly and openly, they hope for commerce that will never fail. Surah Fatir 29 It befits every human being to know his business within this universe of his own existence and to understand its purpose. He must understand that he cannot change whatever is judged right for him and hung around his neck of the one who wishes to change his lot, who is tied to this world and ambitious for it, Allah asks, Knows he not when that which is in the graves is raised and that which is in the breasts is made manifest? Surah Adiyat 9, 10 And we have made every man's actions to cling to his neck. Surah Bani Israel 13 Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration of The Secret of Secrets by Abdul Qadir al-Jalani. In our next video, we will delve into chapter 3 titled The Places of the Souls Within the Body, where we will unravel the mysteries of the soul's connection to the physical vessel. If you enjoyed this content, 
we kindly ask you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, as well as explore the rest of our captivating videos. Thank you for your support, and may your spiritual journey be filled with continued growth and divine blessings.